Well, we have probably a more mixed ethnicity. Okay, so this video is called Nitwit Racist A-Hole. And uh, it talks about the NRA, of course, you know. And, you know, I'm just going to start out by pointing out that, you know, the average NRA member is a nitwit. So let's get started. More people and more crime is committed and more people are killed with hammers every year than guns. Look at the facts. I, I will look that up. I don't think that's true, actually. That is true. In the United States, though? Yes, sir. That is true. Look it up. It's on. You can Google it. It's true. It's actually true. So the number of murder victims and the weapons used. Okay, number one, handguns, 8,029. Number two, firearms, type not stated, 4,863. Number three, knives or cutting instruments, personal weapons, fists, feet. Uh, then rifles at 455. Then blunt objects, clubs, hammers, uh, 393. The, the, the 300, the hammers, that, that stat is just back, wrong. Back to your question. Second Amendment is still my right and it's still important to me. Here's the thing, though. It's not just me. It's also NRA mem uh, leadership who thinks, you know, that their members are morons. For example, Wayne LaPierre in the 2009 CPAC speech thinks his members are too stupid to know the meaning of not the same. Watch this. Sunstein says hunting is as immoral as mass extermination of human beings. See for yourself from his own words. In the long run, if this is correct, our willingness to subject animals to unjustified suffering will be seen as Bentham and Mill thought as a form of unconscionable barbarity, not the same as, but in many ways morally akin to, slavery and the mass extermination of human beings. Mass extermination of human beings. I mean, look, this is the man President Obama wants to put in charge. A man who wants to give legal standing to animals so they can sue you for eating meat. Watch the video. Uh, first step, step one. How about actually enforcing the anti-cruelty laws? Gaps include science, where investigators are typically exempted from the anti-cruelty laws. Hunting, where hunters are almost always excluded from the anti-cruelty laws. And the use of animals for uh, food. I mean, I couldn't make this up. And, uh, you know, you saw that for yourself. He makes the claim that this guy, Sunstein, wants to give animals legal standing so they can sue you for eating meat. Now, can you imagine a pig walking into a courtroom and suing you? You know, it's pretty ridiculous. And, you know, that's not what Sunstein was saying. He was just saying, I'm going to enforce the anti-cruelty laws. But, you know, I guess NRA members are stupid enough to believe that. You saw it with your own eyes. Wayne LaPierre is still in charge of the NRA. Then my next point, you know, NRA members are racist. Just keep it flying. Keep it flying? And, and why do you want to keep it flying? Why do you want to, why would anybody want to erase our heritage? Well, some people would say that that flag symbolizes uh, racism, it symbolizes slavery, um, and they might have some valid points there. Uh, that's their opinion, you know, they're welcome to their opinion if they want it. Are you, are you pro-slavery or against slavery? I have no comment, but thank you for the interview. I'll give you one more chance. You're, you're pro, pro or anti-slavery? Uh, no comment. I, well, I'll give you one more opportunity no. to say if you're pro or anti-slavery. No, I don't, no comment. All right. Well, there you have it. No, no comment on the uh, if you're in favor of slavery or not. Remember, though, the racism thing. It's not just you know some fringe member here or there. It's leadership as well. You don't have any opinion though as to why that is that we are the unique country, the only country that does this, that kills each other on this level with guns. Well, we have probably a more mixed ethnicity than other countries, some other countries. You think um, it's an ethnic thing? No, I don't. It's, I wouldn't go so far as to say that. We have enough problems. We had enough problems with civil rights in the beginning. It's, uh, 
As for the a-hole part, have you ever tried to have a conversation with an NRA member? You know, if they're not lying to you or saying ridiculous things, you know, they have to engage in some kind of shenanigans because they know they're not going to win the argument on logic. And uh, Alex Jones is a good example of this. So the Bush administration was part of a conspiracy. Well, to he murder, said never let us tolerate to murder, to murder, to murder um, I can speak in this accent as well. Yeah. The but is that government what you Hitler firebombed his own Reichstag piece mm. to bring in martial law in Germany, mm. April 27th, 1933. Governments have staged terror attacks throughout history or allowed terrorists to attack mm -hmm. as a pretext to invade and enslave the populations. I, prob I probably own more than 50 firearms. Many of them have increased in value two, three, or even four times. I sleep very comfortably uh, outside Austin, okay. Texas, knowing Alex. that I can defend my family. Okay, Alex Jones. Infowars.com. This is the man who wants to deport me from the country for wanting to get no, rid no. of it's, it's, it's to point out you're a foreigner, a red coat, outrageous. here telling us what to do. Whatever. Go back to where they took the guns if you don't like it. Right, and that's not even Alex Jones's worst moment you know, when talking about guns, but it's not just kooks like him. It's also, you know, guys who have uh, leadership positions like Ted Nugent, who are also a-holes. Well, let, let me put it in uh, official CNN Piers Morgan yes. interview term. Shall I? Yes. My limey friend? Yes. Anybody that wants to disarm me can drop dead. Anybody that wants to make me unarmed and helpless, mm. people that want to literally create the proven places where more innocents are killed called gun-free zones mm. we're going to beat you we're going to vote you out of office yes. or suck on my machine gun yes, but you take, can take it whichever much way much as want. i'd love to suck on your machine gun the whole point the whole point of your defense mm. is that a lot of people do drop dead precisely because you are armed to the teeth not and you'd like all. everybody else to be not true at 80 all. Here's, people write this down see you're so no, rich. you write this down 80 people a day die in america from gunshots. And 75 of them to 78 of them, statistics by the Uniform Crime Report by the FBI and the, UN, and the UN study on violent crime, 78 of those 80 are let out of their cages by corrupt judges and prosecutors who know that recidivism is out of control, know that they'll commit the crimes again, and they let them walk through plea bargaining, early release, and program. They still Kiss can't... my ass. Yeah. Where you have the most armed citizens in America, yeah. you have the lowest violent crime rate. Where you you have the high, the worst gun control. You have the highest crime rate. Peers, choose one. Do you want a lot of crime? We have it. Gun-free zones. Do you want less crime? We have that. More people with concealed weapons permit. Why do you guys resist that statistic? Well, so remember, the final takeaway is, you know, you just got to mock these people. You know, they're not going to have an honest discussion with you. You know, the best thing to do is just mock them and humiliate them. You know, the same way we did with the uh, KKK, you know, the KKK started to die when it was no longer respectable. And we need to do the same with the NRA.